Apple's new iPhone 14 Pro has sparked a bunch of controversy in the tech space in terms of the Android versus Apple battle for supremacy, with companies like ZTE trolling Apple's new Dynamic Island feature, but it's actually Samsung who's really pushing it with the most direct trolling I've ever seen, flexing all over the iPhone 14 Pro for not going far enough. But honestly, it feels more like an act of desperation since the iPhone has just overtaken Android in terms of market share, now accounting for more than 50% of the US market, and that's before the launch of the iPhone 14. So in this video, I'm gonna explain how the 14 Pro is gonna make things even worse for Android and Samsung, who desperately want you to join the flip side, but Apple has other plans for the 14 Pro. Now one could argue that Apple is constantly late in terms of getting major features, like for example, wireless charging and getting rid of the notch, but I'm gonna argue that when Apple does it, they do it right. Apple's MagSafe wireless charging feature is arguably the best implementation ever created, not only being useful for wireless charging your iPhone while being able to use it thanks to the magnets, but also for use with tons of accessories like my favorite MagSafe wallet stand from Moft. Now while I can admit that it took Apple way too long to give us the always on display on the iPhone 14 Pro, they outdid themselves by making it better than any other implementation out there. And if if you don't believe me, let me explain why. First of all, Apple is the first company to allow your actual wallpaper to remain faintly visible all the time, which hasn't been done before because it would drain the life out of every Android phone out there. But Apple is doing things differently. They're allowing the display to clock down to only one hertz refresh rate, or essentially only updating the content on the display once every second, using the least amount of battery life possible, even turning it off when you leave the room with an Apple Watch. But on the Android side, even the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra has been confirmed to only go down to 24 hertz, even in always on display mode. So even though Apple was late to the always on race, they already came out ahead. Now, Apple was also arguably late to get rid of the notch, finally replacing it with a pill-shaped cutout, which some are still calling a notch, but what Apple has done with the software is so genius that Android users are already trying to create third-party apps to copy Apple's new Dynamic Island feature, which is sure to get some of them to convert over to the Apple ecosystem. Now, if you're an Android user that has finally decided to switch over to the iPhone 14, you're probably wondering how you can transfer all of your data. Well, that's where our sponsor Wondershare's Mobile Trans comes in, which lets you transfer your entire Android phone's data over to your new iPhone without any data loss. And all you have to do is connect both phones to your computer, like this MacBook, then open up the Mobile Trans app, which also has cool features like backup and restore, but you'll be choosing phone transfer. Make sure the Android is set as the source and the iPhone is the destination, and click start. Everything should now be transferring, and after just a little bit, that's it, you're done. And they're actually doing an iPhone 14 giveaway until October 7th, and to win, just leave a comment with your most surprising old picture after transferring to your new phone. And the best part is that Mobile Trans is giving you guys up to 50% off using our link below, so go ahead and click the link in the description or pinned comment to get started with Mobile Trans today. Getting back to Apple's Dynamic Island, it basically combines Apple's new pill-shaped cutout with software, allowing it to transform into various UI elements that you can interact with, as well as giving you important information that can stay on the display at all times without bothering the rest of your content. It's really an ingenious way to turn something many iPhone users thought would be a disadvantage into one of the most unique features we've ever seen, and it's already getting many iOS software developers excited about it since Apple made their Dynamic Island API public. And even better, the Dynamic Island features Apple's camera and microphone privacy indicators, letting people know that something is currently recording or using them, which is the cherry on top of Apple's push for privacy, 
like when they added the do not track while browsing feature, which killed Facebook's ad business. And that's something that Android phones simply can't offer. On top of that, Apple's new iOS 16 software just launched with various features, including the new fully customizable lock screen with added widgets. And even Google, the owners of Android, are already previewing iOS 16 lock screen widgets for their own apps since they know how important they're gonna be. Now, just like Dynamic Island, another thing you can't get on any Android phone right now is the iPhone 14's brand new emergency SOS via satellite feature, which will essentially allow you to send a text message or contact emergency services anywhere in the world without the need for a cellular connection. And it's now being reported that this feature is gonna be very hard for rivals to copy because Apple has essentially made an exclusivity deal with Global Star in terms of using their satellite satellites and SpaceX's satellite feature isn't launching until late next year and it'll be exclusive to T-Mobile only so the iPhone 14 Pro is currently the only way to go for a service like this. On top of that, Apple just unveiled their new car crash detection feature, another one that you can't get on any other phone, which uses a bunch of sensors to detect when you've been in a car accident and then automatically contact emergency services with precise location data if you don't respond to the notification, which will literally save countless lives in situations where someone goes unconscious after a car crash. And that's part of the reason why Apple destroys Android. They keep coming out with features that literally save lives, particularly with the Apple Watch, which of course requires an iPhone. But it's not just those reasons, because Apple has been beating Android phones in terms of hardware specs for years now, like the iPhone 14 Pro's new display, which can go up to a massive 2,000 nits when outdoors in sunlight, beating out Samsung's flagship S22 Ultra, which can hit a low lower peak of 1,750 nits. Not only that, but benchmarks for the new A16 chip have leaked and it looks like it's 17% faster than the A15 in terms of multi-core performance, hitting 5,455 points, further increasing its lead over the Android competition, which tops out at around 4,300 points. And that's not even mentioning the single core performance, which is now around 44% faster than the best an Android phone can offer. And in terms of the camera performance, Apple is claiming that their low light performance is improving by up to two times on every camera and even three times on the ultra wide, which is kind of nuts since the iPhone 13 Pro Max was already competing well in terms of low light. And they finally upgraded their main camera to a 48 megapixel sensor Sensor, so it should offer a lot more detail while using Pro Raw mode as well as the regular photo mode with the new two times photo option. Now, of course, we won't know for sure until we actually test out the cameras for ourselves. So subscribe for those upcoming unbiased camera comparison videos. But by far the most impressive thing about the iPhone 14 Pro is the price point. It's still the same $999 that Apple's flagship has been since the iPhone 10 five years ago, despite the ongoing inflation. And in my personal opinion, the new dynamic island and best in class always on display features are gonna make a heck of a lot of people upgrade to the iPhone 14 Pro. But if you disagree with me, let me know down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, click that circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one and check out one of those two videos right there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.